second pick in the 2021 NFL Draft to get select Zach Wilson. With the 15th pick, the Patriots select Mac Jones. Absolutely perfect day for football here in the Meadowlands, 75 degrees. Let's say good afternoon on the sideline to Melanie Collins. Thank you, Kevin. Well, you guys mentioned all those Jets injuries. Add another to the list. They were hoping to get back wide receiver Jamison Crowder today after he was activated off the COVID-19 reserve list on Thursday. But he's been dealing with a groin injury that limited him in practice all week, and he is inactive today. It's not all bad news that they do get back wide receiver Keelan Cole after he missed the week one matchup against the Panthers with a knee injury. And Robert Sala told us just to have another veteran wide receiver back in the fold for his rookie quarterback, Zach Wilson, today is priceless, Kevin. Good stuff, Melanie. Thank you. Yep, the veterans out there will help, but they do miss Crowder, who's led them in receiving the last two years. The opening kickoff as the Jets won the toss. They've selected the second half kickoff. It'll be a touchback with Bolton watching it whistle over his head to the 25-yard line. And Trent, this brings us to Matt Jones, who last week completed 74% of his passes. Well, and that was impressive when you consider the amount of heat that the Miami defense put on Mac Jones. And that was because of different blitz packages. Look for the Jets to do something very similar today, but they get more creative on third down than they do on first and second down. Durant is starting at right tackle. Harris in the backfield, first and 10, and here he goes. Rocket Johnson with the block. Tackle made right there by Bryce Hall. It is a gain of four to the 28-yard line. So let's talk a little bit about this offensive line and a guy they traded for in Yasir Durant who takes that Trent Brown spot. Well, this is the first time he started at tackle in an NFL game. He did have a start previously before getting to New England as a guard, but he came in and played well last week at the end of the game. Came in for Justin Huron after he came in initially. So they're giving Durant the start. Second down, six. Play action, blocked by Wynn, and that's grabbed at about the 35 and caught there by Kendrick Bourne. Ball they thought was loose. They're saying it's New England's. It's a gain of seven. And Kevin, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say they blew the whistle too early because he wasn't down. The ball came out before he was down, but they had already blown the whistle. Watch when this ball comes out. The ball comes loose before he's down. The difference is the officials had already blown the whistle to say that the forward progress had been stopped. Robert Sala is going crazy over there. He doesn't, I don't know if he knew that they blew the whistle on this side of the field. They're challenging. As you can see, the flag's been thrown. Our official today is Sean The ruling on the field was that the runner's forward progress was stopped, which is not a reviewable play. The Jets will keep their challenge flag. There is no timeout charged. It's first down. Not only just a turnover, <laughs> but look where it would have been for the Jets. Right, right. It would have been great field position, and Robert Sala's fired up. He uh, he just wanted an explanation because you could see the, the, the scoreboard showed it. Everybody saw that the ball came out. It's just the whistle had blown that forward progress had stopped. So a big break for the Patriots early on. Remember, the Patriots had four fumbles last week. They lost two. It is a first and 10, 36 with a couple tight ends. Harris. And tripped up on the play. Franklin Myers was there. It's a gain of one and others. Let's take a look now at the Jets' defense. What stands out here, we begin with Quentin Williams on that defensive line. Well, Qu Quentin Williams is the one that just, that just tripped up Damian Harris. He talked to us about he loves this attack style defense that Robert, Robert Sala wants to play. So the down four defensive linemen get up field and be aggressive. Second down nine. Nice block over there by Owenu, and he hits his wide receiver on the far side. John U. Smith, the tight end, who makes the grab. Gain of five, and they'll put him at the 41. Two big acquisitions for the New England Patriots is John U. Smith and Hunter Henry bringing in a couple of tight ends. And last week, Mac Jones took full advantage of them. Now on third down, this is where you'll see Robert Sala and this defense get creative, moving guys around and trying to cause some confusion for Mac Jones. White in the backfield, five in the secondary, third and four. Win the block at the left tackle. Underneath they go, caught by White, grabbed on the play and brought down by Gidry. Gain of five on third and four. They move the chains to the 47. 
Look at the bodies up by the line of scrimmage, but they drop out, only rush four, drop back into his zone coverage. So this is part of the process that Mac Jones impresses me. His, his poise not to get flustered when he sees all those guys at the line of scrimmage. Just wait for his check down, make the completion, and got the first down. Boy, didn't Miami blitz him a lot last week, Trent? Rita, Rita. Harris in the backfield. Big jet sweep. Nice catch by Harris. Trailed on the play by Michael Carter, the rookie out of Duke. It is a gain of two to the 49. And Kevin, this is what you're going to see a lot of today. I think when New England wants to take shots down the field, it's going to come after the play action pass. They're trying to run the ball with Damian Harris. They did a week ago over 100 yards. That time on the play action pass, they had Bourne running down the field on a deep post. The Jets didn't fall for it. They had a safety over the top, a corner trailing. Good job by Jones recognizing that, just hitting the check down. Adrian Colbert is taking the place at Joyner. Deep in the secondary at the safety. Second down eight. Fake the wet. Look out from behind. They dump it off with a screenplay. Read beautifully by C.J. Mosley with no gain and a flag. Well, they're trying to set up the screen because they know the aggressiveness of this defensive line. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number 50. This 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. It's first down. Well, you can see the helmet-to-helmet -helmet that took place. It wasn't, it wasn't that hard of a hit. It's just when you see face mask to face mask, they're going to protect the quarterbacks. You see the 14 roughing the passer penalties last season on the Jets, most in the NFL, and the most in the NFL since 1995. So the drive, which started at the 25, now finds the Patriots at the 36 of the Jets. With an empty backfield for Matt Jones. And across the middle here, they got the receiver, Jacoby Myers who takes the ball for a gain on the play of about six. And he's down inside the 30-yard line. Well, the Jets have stayed pretty straight from a defensive standpoint on first and second down. That time they decided to bring pressure with a secondary blitzer off the right side. Mac Jones recognizing man-to-man -man and getting the completion. White is in. Second down three. There's a block and a nice play right there. Right up the middle, Lawson the play of the yard, and Shaq Lawson, who was acquired during training camp in a trade with Houston, comes in, makes the stop, and they're back at their 30-yard line of the Jets. Watch the twist that's going to happen. He comes right into the, watch the movement that goes on up front, and that allows a free defender to make the tackle right in the hole. Excellent job by the Jets in their design of that defense. Opening drive of the game. Third down and four. Look out from behind, and once again they get him, and this time it's Marcus May. Back to the 42, out of field goal range, and a loss on the play of about seven. May's lined up to the outside, and he's going to come off the edge. Watch him just come around the outside. Durant filling in at right tackle for Trent Brown. Can't get deep enough, fast enough, as May lines up way to the outside, even outside the tight end. And that speed getting around the edge is what got him to the sack and knocked him out of field goal range. Jake Bailey's going to punt for the New England Patriots on their first possession. Last year's all-pro punter is number one in net, number four in gross. Berrios back at the 10. Nine-mile-an-hour win, but basically... Winless inside MetLife Stadium here this afternoon. Promising drive fizzles. The Jets do their job on defense. Some big plays by Lawson and by Marcus May. Fair caught, 31-yard punt. The Jets will get it next. Trent, you were pointing to the second uh, half of last week's game for Zach Wilson as a positive. Yeah, he got settled in. It looked like he got more comfortable. They did some things better offensively. Look to continue that here at the beginning. Ty Johnson. 
with a block by Trayvon Wesco, and he will take it upfield, 16-yard line, a burst of eight right there. And again, let's pay attention here to the tackles. They are in different positions this week for the Jets. Yeah, George Fant moves over to the left side. Morgan Moses comes in at that right tackle, and I tell you what, Kevin, that was the most impressive run when you consider last week they had around 50 yards rushing to start off the game with a good seven, eight yard run. It was a good start for the Jets. Yeah, 17 carries and 45 yards to be exact. Second down two. Watch both ways. Here comes Wilson deflected. It's reeled in and intercepted on the play by Adro. Let's see. Caught on the play by J.C. Jackson, who makes another interception. He was number two last season in the NFL with picks on the ricochet. He picks off Wilson. And the Patriots will start this possession on the turnover at the 35 of New York. Watch the delayed blitz here by the middle linebacker, or who's lined up as middle linebacker. He tries to step into it, throwing it to the back shoulder. J.C. Jackson, this was going to be a matchup that we wanted to keep an eye on all day. J.C. Jackson, we feel, is going to follow Corey Davis everywhere he goes on the field. When they're in man-to-man -man coverage, that time Jackson able to get a hand on, tip it up in the air and get the pick. First down and 10. Harris in the backfield and the call. And the first with a good-looking pocket up there by Jacoby Myers. And he takes it down to the 26-yard line with a gain of nine. Jackson had nine picks last year. That's the second of the season for Wilson, who threw one last week in Carolina. And it's second down and one. So Matt Jones, who hit his first six last week, has done it again in week two. Second down, one, the offset on Harris. And stuffed in there. A lot of hands had a shot at that one. It's a gain of two at the bottom of the pile. They have John Franklin Myers, who was terrific last week with a couple tackles for loss in Carolina. Well, and that's enough to pick up the first down, and you see personnel changing for both teams now instead of having a third and short. This is the area of field. You get a first down, you're inside the 25-yard line. You can get some play action going. You can try and overload it with the way they've been able to run the ball. Keep an eye on that. J.J. Taylor is the running back. First and 10. Little fake, and outside they go. It's Myers, hit by a couple. They had uh, over there, in addition to Michael Carter, C.J. Mosley read it well, threw him for a loss of a yard, back to the 25. Kevin, did you see the way Mac Jones hesitated before he threw that swing? That's because he was trying to get the two slants that were in behind it. He was hoping off the flash fake, or the, or the quick fake, he took his eyes right away to the swing, hoping the, de the defenders would jump that and open the lane. They didn't jump it, so then he had to get back to it. Good job by the defense of the Jets not falling for that. Hey, 57, line. Second down and 11. I go that dead. Movement. False start. Offense, number 76. Five-yard penalty. Second down. They had eight penalties last week, and Belichick made note of that throughout the week. We cannot, he said. And last year, they had as few penalties as any team in pro football. Yeah, and, and that this is something that's, that, as you, you said, Bill Belichick's not happy about. And, and you and I had the game last week, and we talked about the fact too many penalties for a Bill Belichick team, too many turnovers, the two fumbles cost them dearly. Trying to get that corrected today, but not so far. Second down, 16. Shot out here is caught by Nelson Aguilar, who is hit and tackled by Michael Carter with a gain of three down to the 28-yard line. An interception on a ricochet pass thrown by Wilson is intercepted by J.C. Jackson of the New England Patriots, and that's what's given them this great position. Well, around this same part of the field on the last series is when they came with some pressure off the edge. May got the sack to knock them out of field goal range. Right now, it looks like on third and long, they're going to more of a zone and trying to keep everything in front of them. They need the 15, third, and 14 across the middle. It goes, and through the hands of the crossing tight end, Shanu Smith. It's incomplete and room to roam. It's fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit. The Jets defense holds again. 
That's one of the few times I haven't seen Jones step into the throw. Did you see how he kind of backpedaled a little bit and threw it as he's fading away? That causes the ball to float. Anytime the ball floats over the middle, he was fortunate that didn't tip off Smith's hands and get intercepted. So the Jets defense, an early story here in the Meadowlands. 46-yard try by Nick Folk, a former Jet. He's made 29 consecutive field goals, and now he's made 30 from 46. The Patriots are on the board. Cashing in to a degree on the interception. It was picked off by J.C. Jackson on the throw by Wilson. This one nailed from 46 for New England. Together. McDonald's. And by Lowe's. Official home improvement sponsor of the NFL. This rivalry began back in 1960 between these two teams, then the Boston Patriots and the Jets. So a field goal, 46 yards by New England after the turnover on a deflected pass by Wilson, picked off by J.C. Jackson. But the defense of the Jets holding true. Short kickoff here. Berrios lets it go out of bounds at about the nine. That changes things a lot. Kickoff out of bounds by the kicking team. The ball will be placed at the 40 yard line. It's first down. Well, that's a big mistake, Kevin, because now you get the ball at the 40 yard line. Yep. So, Zach Wilson last week, first half staggered a bit. The numbers tell you that. But the second half, he continued to improve and threw two touchdown passes, both to Davis. And really, Kevin, that second half, majority of it was the end of the third quarter and all of the fourth quarter. He really came alive and as you said, the two touchdown passes to Corey Davis. Needs to settle down after throwing that interception on his first pass attempt. Need to get to a rhythm here. Michael Carter is the back. The rookie out of North Carolina. What 18! With a first and ten. And he cuts inside with a Van Roten block. And he breaks a tackle and gets a first down into Patriot territory. Brought down to the play by Dietrich Weiss. It's a burst of 13 down to the 47 of New England. Excellent job by the left side of the line. Earlier in that first drive at a nine yard run, now a 13 yard run. That's the running game that they need to get going. Eight yards of carry in North Carolina. Here's a first and 10. Wilson. Intercepted, picked off by Adrian Phillips. He almost had one in the previous series. This goes through the hands of a leaping Corey Davis. Two possessions, two jet turnovers. Well, and this is just a matter of Matt. This is just a matter of Wilson trying to be too aggressive. So the Jets have had two drives, one of 43 seconds, one of 36 seconds, two interceptions, first and ten. The pump fake and the screen. Right. Getting a block from Andrews, getting a block from Owenu, and there he goes! A foot race past the 45. Tackled from behind by Bryce Hall. And James White has just run 28 by number 28 down to the Jet 44. That's a great call by Josh McDaniels, recognizing the aggressiveness of the Jets' defense. You see how initially it's a pump fake by Mac Jones to the right. That gets the defense flowing in that direction. Then he comes back and hits the screen to the left, where he has a body on a body, and they're able to get it across midfield. Hey, go 40! Go 40! Go 40! 57! Line stays in the game and he gets the call on first and ten. And he was drilled on the play by C.J. Mosley, the four-time Pro Bowler, gain a four to the 39. Let's go back to the interception. It's just a play fake. You're going to see Elijah Moore come from the left side all the way down into the flat. He's wide open in the flat. Yes, there's a defender here, but this is Zach Wilson looking upfield, trying to be too aggressive and push the ball upfield. Because of what's happened already in this game, because of the interception, the field position you have, sometimes it's about just taking some positive yards, getting a drive going. It, that wasn't going to get a first down because the defender was behind him, but you don't have to be aggressive all the time. There's times to be aggressive, and early in this game, take what the defense was giving. Harris back in, going long, and almost picked off by May at the goal line on that second down and five with a flag. 
You get me talking about quarterback play, Kevin. I know I get, you get, get excited. You're like, you're, like, you're like, Trey, the game's going on. Be quiet. No, no, I'm no, like, no, no, no. we got to get quarterback no, talk in. I want to talk quarterback talk. It's the <laughs> most fascinating. <laughs> Number 51 of the defense was lined up in the neutral zone. This is a five-yard penalty. We'll replay second down. So now, with two and a half to go here, Mel, it'll be a second down. What do you have? Yeah, Kevin, Zach Wilson, despite throwing that second interception, calm, cool, and collected down here on the sideline, looking over the play on the tablet. Corey Davis walked up to Zach, patted him on the shoulder, and took full responsibility for that one. He knows that was a catchable ball. You know, Mel, there were five drop passes last week against Carolina by the Jets. There were, and that was good of Corey Davis to come up to him because that ball, although it was high, it went through both of his hands. There's a second down and one May there again to make the hit initially. And he picks up a yard. It looks like they moved the chains. They'll put him at about the 33-yard line of the Jets, whose defense has been solid. They have bent, but they have not broken. They've only allowed a field goal of 46, Trent, but now they're being pressed, stressed once again for a third time. Well, and that's the thing that gets lost in the game last week against Carolina is, is how this Jets defense played. They played really well. They held Carolina to just 19 points. And, and really, when you consider the job they did mixing things up, they're going to have to do it again today. They're going to have to create some turnovers and some field position. First and 10. Look at this. White the other way. Jones is open. And downfield they go. Chanu Smith. Pretty play. Trickery gadget play to the 14-yard line of the Jets. And a pickup through the air of 19 yards. Now, this is going to be the exact opposite as far as aggressiveness. Mac Jones has Aguilar going down the field for a touchdown in the corner. The defender is stuck in the middle trying to make a decision. He decides, you know what? We're across midfield. We're going to hit Johnu Smith, pick up the first down instead of taking the touchdown. Echols, the rookie down, will step aside. Beautiful day in the New York, New Jersey area, 75 degrees. Eccles walking off. Javelin Gidry takes his place at the corner. The nickel, first and ten. White in the backfield. Mason with the block, and look at him. Pile drive his way down to the seven-yard line. And he picks up a nice seven yards right there. White had a catch and run earlier on this drive of 28. This was all set up on an Adrian Phillips interception of Wilson, the rookie quarterback of the Jets. Second and three coming up. White remains. It's White. Look at him weave for six. Touchdown, New England. And they cash in on the interception thrown by Wilson and picked off by their terrific Adrian Phillips. Excellent job up front. Mac Jones recognizes that this is going to be blitz. Watch this. You're going to get, you're going to get a guard pulling here, and then they're just coming to the backside and, and really gets into the end zone untouched. Pull, you seal it. You get up to that next level. Hunter Henry, the tight end on the backside, does get to that second level. Good job at point of attack by New England. Mason with a good block, a good ceiling block. Folk ticks one, uh, one more on the clock. So it is 10 to nothing, New England. The interception, Phillips. White was big on the drive and takes it in from seven for six for the Pats. Two New York Jet turnovers and 10 points, the results for the New England Patriots. Interception by J.C. Jackson, interception by Adrian Phillips. Now the kickoff once again from Jake Bailey. He had five kickoffs last week, all touchbacks. His last one went out of bounds, so the Jets began at the 40. Here's his third kickoff of the day. Berrios, a former New England draft choice from the one. Cutting outside, chased by Jones, and out of bounds he goes. You know he's a terrific punt return man, but a kickoff return right there of 38 yards for Zach Wilson in the offense. Well, excellent field position once again for the Jets, and Zach Wilson off to a rough start like he was a week ago as well. Two pass attempts and two interceptions. He needs to calm down. The Jets' offense needs to calm down. Kevin, we're almost at the end of the first quarter here. 
They've only had four plays, those two interceptions, and they've actually ran the ball two times, averaging over 10 yards per run, a 13-yard carry and an 8-yard carry. So I think they're going to try and settle them down, run the ball a little bit here, get into some play action, secure short throw. It's a first and 10. Ty Jackson gets his head down, trying to get a block right there from Tyler Croft and picks up about three just beyond the 40 of the Jets. He's hit by Phillips. A lot of tackles a season ago on that New England D. Well, the last two series, they started off with runs on first down. Second down, they went to a play action pass. And both of those ended in interceptions. So you do something here. Do you come up with a screen? Do you try and keep something short? Or do you run the football again and try and get it into third and manageable? Four in the secondary. Second down and seven. And they put Johnson in there again. Ray is hit by Jawan Bentley. And a gain of six, close to a first down near the 47. Touchdown run by White. MetLife Stadium is Rutherford, New Jersey. Melanie Collins on our sideline. Trent Green, Kevin Harlan, our producer Kenny Mack, and our director Suzanne Smith, third and one, starting the second quarter. You can see when that kind of lead for Bill Belichick is in tow after one. <laughs> It's, it's pretty dominating. That's, 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 a, pretty, that's, a, that's a pretty <laughs> dominating stat. A little block in there by Wesco on that third and one. Looks like Ty Johnson is submarined for the first down he has with a gain of one. Trent just outside the 48-yard line of the Jets. Well, and, that, and that's what they need. They need to get that first first down, and that's what they did. Three straight runs, try and get Zach to calm down a little bit. Offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur did a good job of saying, listen, we just need to stay on the field. We need to give our defense a rest. We need to get some momentum going, get something going. Picking up that first first down was critical. Carter in the backfield. It is first and ten. Also looks into the nickel. Up with a block, and then in, he was just inhaled by the rookie out of Alabama, Christian Barmore, on the Patriot defensive line, limiting him to a gain of three in the Patriot territory at the 49. Well, Barmore is one one guy that uh, New England's really excited about, and that time shed the blocker, just came off and, and, and made the tackle for a very short gain, but I know they're fired up about him. Phillips comes off in the secondary for the Pats. John Jones comes in, second and seven. Voted captain by his teammates, rookie Zach Wilson. Second down, seven with, oh, he's got him wide open, and he hits him. Outside, Elijah Moore, the celebrated rookie from Mississippi, one of the best receivers in college football a year ago. 27-yard wide open gain to the 22 of New England. Great job by the offensive line, giving him time, giving Zach Wilson time to step into this throw. Moore is lined up in the slot, the first of three receivers to that left side, and he just does a wheel route, and the defense collapses with the two outside receivers and leaves him wide open down the sideline. Good job by Zach Wilson locating him and making an accurate throw. Carter remains with the fake and outside Berrios. Davis with the block. And a tackle made from behind by Kyle Duggar on a gain of seven, a quick hitter taking him to the 15 of New England. And I've talked about rhythm with quarterbacks, whether it's a young quarterback or an older quarterback. Sometimes you just need to, you know, you get that get that first down, and all of a sudden, you, you know, you get some some tempo going. We've talked about tempo as well, and and that's an important thing. So a quick throw there after a first down, and, and now you're trying to get into some kind of rhythm if you're Zach Wilson in this Jets offense. And have a short memory, correct? Correct. <laughs> you have to. You have to. Second down, three. Carter's in the backfield. Moore. Carter. And inside the 10. And finally brought down by J.C. Jackson. 
Moore kick. was in motion and a six yard run by Michael Carter, a fourth round pick out of North Carolina. And Kevin, you got to give Michael LaFleur, they're going to use more. See how Moore goes, and he's the one going in motion. So you give it to Carter, all that does is it freezes the defense. They don't know which guy has the football. You have two speed guys going in opposite directions around the edges. So some of the defense freezes looking at Moore. Did he get it? Carter decides he's going to take it around that right edge. And that speed is able to pick up the first down, get it inside the 10. Good job by the offensive line. A better job by the design of the play. Eighth play of the drive, Carter. Following those big blockers up front, including Morgan Moses with a gain of three. Gotshaw, the former Dolphin, makes the stop at the five. And Kevin, the reason why I bring up that point, it's, it's if you get them to hesitate, right? If all you need is just to hesitate as fast as everybody is. It, I mean, you have defensive linemen as fast as running backs, but if you just get them to hesitate a little bit, that speed can get around the edges like what happened and what the Jets were able to take advantage of. Second down and goal. Davis. It's Carter. Oh, look at him wiggling down to the two. With a gain of three. And Lawrence Guy off the bottom of the pile on that defensive line for New England. Well, in New England thinks very highly of Jalen Mills, who they brought in as one of the free agents. I thought they were going to match up J.C. Jackson with Corey Davis all day. That time, Davis works from right to left, and Mills is the one that runs over and stays with him. So because of that man-to-man -man look, I thought they were going to check it to a pass. Instead, they decide to run it up the middle now, setting up a third and short. Running back Ty Johnson, two tight ends, five-minute drive, third and goal. Johnson hit by Guy, stuffed at the three. Lost about a half yard. Lawrence Guy has made his trek around the NFL with Green Bay, Colts, Chargers, Baltimore, and they're going to try for three. The New England defense holds. Well, and that's just a matter of Guy throwing the offensive lineman away and filling the hole himself. So Matt Amendola who punted last week for the injured Braden man but has never kicked in the NFL extra point or field goal this is a 21 yard try to take that zero off the board and he puts it in 21 yarder Matt Amendola former soccer player 952 second quarter Grab your gear because CBS just solved Monday's first NCIS returns on a new night with an answer to last season's explosive cliffhanger. Then say Aloha, the world's most successful television series, continues on the seductive shores of Hawaii. Vanessa LeJade stars in NCIS Hawaii, the new series tomorrow on CBS. Brandon Bolden lets it go over his head on the kickoff after the 21-yard field goal. And getting into that New England lead, Patriots still by seven. Hurricane Ida brought extensive damage, as we all know, to the Northeast earlier this month. Dwight Morrow High School in nearby Englewood, about 10 miles from here, lost its turf field, track, and most of its football equipment due to flooding. The Jets have stepped in to cover the cost of the team's helmets, pads, and uniforms. They've also invited the team to today's game. There they are. Enjoying it after some hardships that not just they but everybody in this area seems to have been affected with their thoughts with you 25 yard line of the touchback the fake the harris mason the block here they come franklin comes up the middle franklin myers grabbed him and spun him around and down he went it's a second sack the ball is back with the loss to the 13 of new england excellent. losing 12. well an excellent pressure that time once again Taking advantage of Yasir Durant making his first start at right tackle. Anytime you see an offensive lineman chasing from behind, that's not a good sign. The Patriots are fortunate to get on that ball. Franklin Myers had a sack last week at Carolina. Four quarterback pressures. He's picking up where he left off. Second down and 22. They go outside. Kendrick Bourne. Way late at the 15-yard line. Hit on the play. Only a gain of three. C.J. Mosley, who today is playing in just his fourth game as a Jet, even though he joined him in 19, 
is there among many for New York. Game green there. Well, Kevin, it's hard to believe how this momentum has changed. The first quarter was completely lopsided by New England. They just weren't getting that many points out of it. They were able to get 10 out of it, but most of the game was in the Jets into the field and the Jets with the two turnovers. Now all of a sudden this crowd's getting into it. They got three points. They're going to try and get them off the field and get good field position. They need the 35, 30, 19, and down he goes. Sheldon Rankins, second sack of the series, third Jets sack of the game. Rankins brings him down, back at the nine, three and out for New England. Well, Rankins is going to be matched up on Durant once again. Excellent coverage down the field, but Durant one-on-one, -on -one, not able to hold up. There's nowhere for him to go with the ball, him being Mac Jones. Here's the punt. Marios looking into that bright New Jersey sun. Hit on the play and brought down. Born there, 48-yard punt, six-yard return. That was a tough series for the rookie, Matt Jones, in a timeout in the Meadowlands. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Modelo. Brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Progressive. Save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. And by Papa John's. Big pizza, big difference. Order a shakaroni now. Jet defense did their job. You just said a second ago, you, you sent some momentum change. Well, there really has been. And you, you consider they were able to get some points, and then you get the ball, and then all of a sudden there's a fumble by New England. They recover it, but then the sack, it's... It's really turned around here in a, in a short period of time. Tevin Coleman breaking tackles, slips his way inside the 35. He's hit by Jalen Mills. He's down to the 34. 17-yard burst by the former 49er, Tevin Coleman. Well, on the offensive line, took a lot of criticism a week ago because their ineffectiveness running the football and the amount of sacks and pressure that Zach Wilson was under. But they've been running the football excellent today. 63 yards rushing already. We're still seven minutes till halftime. Wilson with the first and ten. More good blocking up there and a stop at the end of it with a gain of five. Let's go to New York and James and coach. Dual threat Tyrod. Tyrod Taylor, former Cleveland Brown. You see right here, uses his feet for 15 yards off for a touchdown and throwing the ball. He's 10 of 10, 125 yards, and another touchdown as Houston is leading 14 to 7 in Cleveland. And back to our triple threat, Kevin Harlan. Well, thank you, Tyrod Taylor. Last year began the season as the quarterback of the Chargers and was injured. Well, you got to remember, he was with Cleveland also, so he may have a little extra juice today going against those Browns. Second down and five. Good. Trip up there by Jawan Bentley on Ty Johnson, limiting him to just a gain of a yard. Trent, the Jets, last time they had it, had it first and goal at the eight. They settle for a field goal. Then their defense comes on and forces a three and out by the Patriots. And so now they've got it inside. Let's call it the 28 of New England. Well, and this is where you, you excuse me, this is where you have to be careful is you don't want to be too aggressive. Yes, you want to pick up the first down, third and five. But you are in field goal range. Now, you talked about the fact that that was the first field goal in Amendola's career. So now, all of a sudden, you're asking him to, to, to convert a long one. So you want to be aggressive here, but not too aggressive. Johnson the back, third down and four. Good time inside. Wilson intercepted third of the day. Picked off at the 14-yard line. The second today for J.C. Jackson. I just got I just got through saying don't be too aggressive and tried pushing it up the field for a jump ball. Just across the way they're putting the together the Verizon halftime report JB and company news scores and highlights the Verizon halftime on deck on CBS Wilson throws his third interception of the first half for the Jets Jackson with his second pick. From the 14, Matt Jones out of Alabama. First and 10. Blocked by Durant down the sideline. They go, what a nice catch. Hauled in by Jacoby Myers. He beats on the play. Javelin Gidry, 24-yard pickup. And some breathing space to the 38 of New England. 
And Kevin, you could hear Mac Jones at the line of scrimmage say, alert, alert. So that tells me there was two plays called. They had a run play called. They saw the box was stacked. It was man-to-man -man coverage. Alert, alert. You don't have to say a play. It's already been called in the huddle. You know it's going to be tied to it. He has one-on-one -on -one matchup. Puts it perfectly over the outside shoulder for the first down. Harris in the backfield at 100 yards on the ground last week. And C.J. Mosley jumps on his back on that first and 10. The gain of two to the 40-yard line. And they, they would love a big game out of C.J. Mosley. They're going to need that speed. That's the thing that he was known of before the injury a couple years ago and before sitting out last season, opting out for COVID. Getting that speed, that sideline to sideline presence is going to be a big factor for the Jets. Eccles, by the way, has not returned yet. Second down and eight. What? Oh, he's drilled on the play. And a beauty right there turned in by Quincy Williams. That last name's familiar. Waved by Jacksonville. Throws him for a loss of one. Send him back to the 39. <laughs> Kevin, you can hear that up here. He's like his brother. Isn't he? Yeah, the way he hits. His brother's on that line. Quinnen. Third and nine. First road game for the rookie quarterback of the Patriots. Going long again for Myers. Got hand-to-hand -hand combat. No yellow on the field. Kidry was defending. They were chesting the entire way up the sideline. Here comes the punting unit for New England, and the Jets' defense does their job again. Mac Jones deciding under pressure with man-to-man -man coverage, press, man-to-man -man press coverage, wanting to go to Jacoby Myers again. You can see the two of them. Watch that they're both grabbing and pushing and holding. That's one of those ones where the official says, you know what, we're getting it by both sides. We're just going to make it a no call. Jake Bailey to punt. Minimal wind. Cardona the long snap. Berrios back there. Signal four and a lot of the fair catch at about the 16. Nine-time Pro Bowler Slater down there covering 44-yard punt, 4.47 on the hang. We'll be back in 30 seconds after this from State Farm. Jake from State Farm. What's good? Oh, no, Patrick? Nah, fam. Just your typical sneakerhead working here for the employee discount. But speaking of deals, I heard regular guys like me are getting the Patrick price. That can't be real, right? Listen, State Farm offers rates that fit any budget. Even yours, typical sneakerhead. Wow, just anyone now? Yeah. Man, these just sold out then. For surprise on great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Patriots, two consecutive punts. Listen, three interceptions in the first half, yet the Jets are down by just seven points. Well, and that's the phenomenal thing right now. Is you, you, that just tells you how good the Jets' defense is playing. It, considering the field position and how long they've been on the field, it's... Carter on first and ten. Broke one tackle, then he was hit on the play by Christian Barmore. Michael Carter, average eight yards a carry at North Carolina, picks up three right there and a flag thrown. He's out to the 20. With our clock at 3.55 and three timeouts apiece. Holding. Offense number 76. Half the distance to the goal. Replay first down. George Fant replacing the injured Becton, playing that left tackle. First time we've talked about the tackles so far in this one, both in different positions from last week. Well, and, and really because they've been doing a good job. The right. offensive line has been creating holes for the running game. They've, they, the running game has been, been going well. And, you know, really only the one time that, uh, that Wilson was under pressure, some of that was with the fact it was a delayed linebacker blitz, and there's nobody accounted for that. So this, uh, this offensive line... Must have heard a little bit of the criticism going on this past week around New York. First and 18, spot five. Oh, they got through that time, but Carter, the rookie running back, made a nice block, which affords that completion of Berrios, covered by Jackson. And they get out to the 19-yard line on a gain of 10. So we have a first-time play caller and a rookie quarterback. That's an interesting combination <laughs> in the NFL. Yes, it is. And they, they, they both got to settle down, and I think they have. I think you can consider Mike LaFleur as the offensive coordinator, what he's settled into here, trying to get Zach into a rhythm. That last interception wasn't a play call situation. That was just Zach Wilson trying to force the ball in a situation he shouldn't have been forcing it into. 
Second down, seven. Carter again. And hit by Juwan Bentley as he staggers and stumbles ahead to about the 24 on a gain of four. We're approaching the two-minute warning. And again, three timeouts apiece with a look at 34-year-old offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur, a first-time OC. He is the younger brother of Matt LaFleur, the coach of the Green Bay Packers. Well, and Robert Sala, they, they end up coming over together from the 49ers and just has a good feel for one another and what he wants to get done and what what he wants as an offense. And then all of a sudden you draft a young quarterback and Zach Wilson. It's just uh, it seems like it's going to be a good long term fit. Ty Johnson the back third down and three up the middle. They come deflected and Bentley is the one to swap the pass away fourth down. And here comes the New York Jet punting unit. Bentley with a nice play outside. Bentley's the one that gets his hand on the ball and Jalen Mills the outside corner is jumping up and down because he was hoping he was going to get an interception himself. So here is Thomas Morstead who was signed this week after a Tuesday tryout after they lost their punter Brayden Mann last week in Charlotte. Roshevsky back inside the 30 just before the two minute warning. Morstead, 12 years with New Orleans, a pro bowler. He's led the league in punting before. He had some minor surgeries during the offseason, was not in camp with anyone. Fair caught at 31 with a beautiful hang of 48 on a 45-yard punt, 4.8 on the hang. Mel, what do you have? Well, Kevin, as if beginning your first and your first season as an NFL head coach wasn't challenging enough, Robert Sala is doing it while living out of a hotel room. He told us this week the renovations on their new house went haywire and they had to move into a hotel where he, his wife, his seven kids and their nanny are sharing two hotel rooms. He said it's been an absolute catastrophe, but the end is hopefully near. He said they should be able to get into their house in mid-October. Can you guys imagine? No, ten, ten people in two rooms? Goodness. He's got the seven kids. The oldest is ten. First and ten. Harris wrapped up. Rice off right there. Second year player. Out to the 35 goes Damian Harris. It is a gain of four. Three interceptions by New England, but the Jets down by just seven on CBS. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings to the greatest of all times and by Capital One what's in your wallet Central Railroad of New Jersey terminal located in Liberty State Park New Jersey one of the many great sites here in the New York New Jersey area second down six three timeouts the rookie quarterback has to work with here at the two minute warning track. Well, and I tend to be aggressive. You might as well go for it. They're going to run a draw here, force the Jets to use the timeout if that's what they're going to do. So James White takes it on a gain of two. The right well, tackle, the right tackle has been switched. Justin Haran is now in there for the starter. Yasir Durant, both taking the place of the injured with a calf strain. Trent Brown. So the new right tackle is Haran. Well, and Haran's the one that came in the game first last week after Brown's injury. And then they rotated Durant in there at the end of the game. And yeah. now they've gone the other way. Third down four. Underneath, they got it. And it's caught by the lumbering tight end. That is Hunter Henry, who picks up 10 on third and four. He's out to the 47. And they get the first down. Well, and the Jets decide to bring pressure. They ring blitz and they go man to man. And, and Mac Jones stands in there and makes an accurate throw to pick up the first down. Now you get into your two minute drill. First and 10, the backpedaling catch by Aguilar is out of bounds. And that's for a first down near the 43 and a gain of 10. So nice quick passes. Clock at one minute. Rise in halftime being put together. JB, Phil, Nate, Boomer, and Coach Bill Cower, the Hall of Famer, scores news and highlights the Verizon. Halftime report next. Three timeouts, New England. One minute to play. First and ten. Around the block. Mason the block. And underneath they go to White, who is hit on the play by Quincy Williams. Gain of three. 40 of the Jets. Clock is continuing to tick. Second down and seven. Jets have three timeouts as well. White in the backfield. Well, Second think, and seven, they get by. There goes White, breaks one tackle. Mason with the block, slips another tackle, and finally 
knocked off his horse by Michael Corder, but uh, squirms his way to the 29 of the Jets. It's an 11 gain on the play and a timeout taken, and we'll be back in 30 seconds after this. I've seen this movie before. You have? Sure. This is the part where all is lost and the hero searches for hope. Then a mysterious figure reminds her that she has the farmer's home policy per guaranteed replacement cost and that her home will be rebuilt regardless of her limits or if the cost of materials has gone up. <laughs> That's really something. You get a whole lot of something with farmer's policy perks. Wait, I didn't ruin the ending, did I? Yeah, yeah, you did. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Matt Jones has only thrown two incompletions this afternoon, and like last week, picking up with high percentage passes. Well, and right now, he's, he's got use of the entire field. He's got two timeouts in his pocket, and he's going to try and find whatever matchup he thinks is best. But don't be afraid to throw in the middle of the field right now. First down and 10. Belichick loves to work between the numbers. It's nice movability here by the quarterback, which wisely throws it away. White was in his sights. Michael Carter was defending downfield. Well, I think, every, I think everyone was so shocked that he was scrambling out of the pocket because he's a pocket guy. <laughs> yes, he is. Because normally in a scramble drill, you have all the receivers putting the brakes on and flying back towards the quarterback. And that wasn't the case when you look upfield, what Mac Jones' options were. The receivers all stayed in their routes. Nobody reacted to him flushing outside the pocket. So he just flipped it out of bounds. Second down, 10. Two timeouts. <laughs> Piranha block at that right tackle and outside they go Jacoby Myers close to the first down. Ushered out of bounds by Bryce Hall with a gain of eight so third and two clock at 22 seconds he gets out of bounds and stops it right there. They are in field goal range clearly with Nick Folk. When Bryce Hall was just too soft in his coverage it was he, he was just giving up that that five to ten yard route keeping everything in front of him now on third down it looks like they're going to be more aggressive. Press coverage. End of the nickel, third down and two. Moves niftily out of harm's way. Ball knocked away. Incomplete. Incomplete. Fourth and two. Player down for the Pats. Well, and I think they're going to call this intentional grounding. He's pointing at the receiver that he was throwing to. And the player down is Haran, the right tackle, who just came in for Durant and both taking the place of Trent Brown. 17 seconds to go, two timeouts, New England, three for the Jets. Robert Sala in his home head coaching debut. Intentional grounding by the quarterback. He was out of the pocket, but the ball did not reach the line of scrimmage. This is a 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. It's a loss of down, and it requires a 10-second runoff. P game operator, game clock operator, please set the game clock to seven seconds, and the clock will start on my signal. Voice of Sean Hockley, who is the son of Ed Hockley, the famous former referee in the NFL. Well, then New England should just take a timeout here so they don't have to. If it's a 10 yard penalty from the spot, that would put it back to about the 32, maybe just shy of the 33 yard line. So if you try a field goal, it's going to be a shade over 50 yards, but it's going to be a running clock. He's, at least that's what he announced is that when it's spotted, it's going to be a running clock. So if you're New England, you have to burn one of your timeouts. There's a look at Nick Falk, who used to kick for the Jets, 36-year-old kickers with Dallas, New York, and the Bucks, New England last year. Three for three last week. 46-yarder. 75 on the offense was injured on the play. By rule, this requires a timeout by New England. This timeout avoids the potential for a 10-second runoff. However, the intentional grounding is still in force, 10 yards from the previous spot, and a loss of down. The game clock should read 17 seconds, and we'll start on the snap. Thank you. 
That's an outstanding explanation that, of Sean what was a lot of twists and turns in that interpretation. Yeah, Sean Hockley <laughs> just nailed that. That was, uh, that was, that was terrific. And then he even said thank you at the end yes, of it. That was, did. yeah, that was, that was impressive. So they're going to go for three. The Jets' defense keeps them out of the end zone. And even though New York quarterback Zach Wilson has thrown three first-half interceptions as of now, it is just a seven-point deficit for the, G for the uh, New York Jets, 10-3. But here is a field goal try. And the ball will go down at the 38, so about a 48-yard try by Falk, who was elevated yesterday. He has made 30 consecutive field goals. If he makes this, he'll tie the team record of 31 in a row by Steven Guskowski. The Jets have timeouts. They could try and ice him here. He hasn't missed since early last season from 49 yards away. And it is perfect. 31 in a row, second today, 10-point lead, New England, 13 seconds to go on a 49-yard Nick Folk field goal. Well, and with the amount of time, with 13 seconds left in all your timeouts, I don't really see the Jets doing much of anything other than taking the knee and going to the half. You have to remember, they get the ball first coming out in the second half. So considering... They're down, what is it, three turnovers? They're minus three in turnover ratio. And being down 10 points at halftime and getting the ball first in the second half, I think you'd take that. If you're the Jets, get into halftime and, and set a plan for how you want to attack things in the second half. So coming in, we were highlighting the rookie quarterbacks. Matt Jones has gone 17 to 21 for 142. No touchdowns, no picks. Zach Wilson, three of seven for New York. The Jets quarterback with 45 yards through the air and three interceptions, two by J.C. Jackson. Remember, the New England Patriots led, tied for the lead in interceptions last year in the NFL with 18. They had one last week against Tua. They've got three today. They got four in less than two games. Pretty impressive. It is. It's an impressive secondary. And when you have a young quarterback that's that's throwing the ball up on a couple of occasions, uh, you have to take advantage of it, which they have. Jake Bailey, they'll put this in the end zone. It'll be out to the 25, touchback, first and 10. I'm, I'm assuming, and not pointing the fit, I'm assuming you've had halves where you've thrown multiple interceptions. And in the case here, the first half, trying to regroup a little bit at halftime. Come huh? on, Kevin. What do you think you're assuming? I'm just, I'm just yes, with all the it. football you've played. I've had, I've I've had it happen <laughs> multiple times. And, and, it, and it's just and, and, and it's just a matter of getting to halftime, and they are going to take a knee, which they should. Uh, but get to, you know, you go in and you say, okay, what is what do we want to come out in the second half? Let's get a drive starter. Let's get something. Let's get some first downs, get some momentum, get some rhythm going as an offense. And that's an important thing to get into. So. Those are the conversations. Only being down 10 at halftime uh, is a win for the Jets, considering they're minus three in turnovers. So we talked about the three interceptions. White, the running back for the Patriots, had a seven-yard touchdown run. And the Jet defense, with all this that's been against him, has held in there pretty tough in this first half. It has been impressive, considering what the field position was early in the game with the turnovers. First half highlights now from Verizon and a word from your local station. Patriots by 10 at halftime. Both teams looking for their first win of the season. The Jets have had three first-half interceptions by their young quarterback, but their defense, Trent, has held with three sacks on the rookie quarterback for New England. Well, Let's that, talk about the quarterback. Well, and that, that's the big thing right there. Three turnovers, and yet you're only down 10 points. Let's take a look at the two guys. Mac Jones comes out, and, and look at how efficient he's been and accurate he's been. He hasn't turned the ball over once again. Uh, he's been very accurate, 17 of 20 in the passing game. On the other side, though, the first two pass attempts of the game 
Zach Wilson had interceptions. He ultimately ended up with three interceptions in that first half. And J.C. Jackson with the two picks, two of the three picks for New England. What are we going to see, you think, in the second half? Well, I think the thing that's impressed me is the Jets' offensive line. We couldn't say that last week. No sacks in the first half, and they have 72 yards rushing. So if you're the Jets, come out and run the football. Tell Zach Wilson, Wilson you don't have to win this in the third quarter. Be efficient with your throws. Take what the defense gives you. Then in the fourth quarter, if it's time to take some chances, some risks, push the ball up the field into maybe some questionable coverages, that's the time to do it. Don't do it early on. That's what he got caught doing in the first half. The time of possession right now clearly in favor of the New England Patriots. And we'll see how uh, long that memory is of this rookie quarterback, the second overall pick out of BYU with an incredible senior season. Well, and the other thing you have to remember, this, this is a rookie that is starting his first home game in New York, and he wants to make a big impression, so he forced the ball too much in the first half. Braxton Berrios, and he's out to about the 22. We start the second half with an 18-yard gain, and let's go downstairs to Melanie Collins. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Robert Sala happy with his defense in that first half, keeping everything in front of them. But he said that's the expectation. He feels the offensive line has shown massive improvement so far this week, opening holes for the run game, protecting Zach Wilson. He said we just need to get Zach Wilson to calm down and throw it out there. As for Bill Belichick, he said we're still evaluating Justin Haran. You could see Kajust in there, um, as well as Yassir Durant. I'm sorry, Durant, and we'll fill in as needed. And they just need to be consistent through all three phases. Kevin, back to you. Mel, thank you. They begin with. Ty Johnson in the backfield in a first and ten with a little play action. They get a block from Cole, the rookie quarterback on the move, and he's got his receiver, Elijah Moore, with a second catch today, drilled by Jawan Williams, close to a first down, near the 32 of the Jets. And that's the dimension of Zach Wilson's game that draws the attention and draws the eyeballs because if a play breaks down, he's efficient. He can he can handle things in the pocket. He, he's tried forcing some things, too, but, but it's his ability to escape the pocket, extend plays. And as the, the New England Patriots told us, the defenders told us this week, he's not looking to take off and run. He's keeping his eyes upfield and wants to make a throw, this time getting close to a first down. Double tight end, second one. Knifing his way for the first. Ty Johnson picks up. Four. You clearly this quarterback trusts his arm. The question is, does he trust it too much? <laughs> <laughs> well, that could be a problem too. There, there's been times in uh, going uh, going back in the time machine where I thought I could make any throw in a specific <laughs> game, and all of a sudden it's like, you know, the coach says, "What were you thinking on that throw?" And I'm like, "Well, I thought I could get it in there." Right. <laughs> well, how did you think you could get it in there? Were two guys there? Yeah. Well, I still thought I could get it in there. So, yeah, there's there's times where you have too much confidence in what you're doing, and he just needs to settle down and takes what the defense gives him right now. They hand off on first and ten. Here comes Guy. He slips his grasp. Wilson on the move, and he tries to complete it with an incompletion to the former Bengal and Buffalo tight end Tyler Croft. Incomplete. That was phenomenal. Watch, he comes off the play fake. Defense does a good job of staying home, but watch his, his footwork. That's amazing. The, he's able to keep his, his mind together and keep his eyes upfield. Now, there was nowhere for him to go with the football. Uh, good job not trying to force it into the middle of the field and, and potentially get another turnover, but that athleticism was is what jumps off the tape to everybody that watches it. Second and ten, Ty Johnson, the spinning move and looking for a block, which he got from the center, Connor McGovern, and picks up six up to the 41. Earlier this summer in training camp, a flag has been thrown at about the 38. The Jets had joint practices. Holding offense number 62. It's a 10-yard penalty. Replay, second down. Greg Van Roten, the former Packer. So I'll go back to that story. They had joint practices in Green Bay. And Wilson, who has emulated and patterned his game after Aaron Rodgers, had long talks with Aaron about the game and quarterbacking and footwork in particular. Well, and he said what a what a huge moment that was for him. As you said, he grew up watching Aaron Rodgers and, and wanting to emulate some of his games. So being able to spend time with him and talk to him and learn from Aaron Rodgers about how to manage a game and, and when to be aggressive and how to how to just control what you're doing in the offseason and in the huddle. It, it was a good experience for him. Second and 18 spot foul. Carter was in the backfield. Here goes the scrambling jet quarterback and from behind was taken down. And down the play by the hustling Henry Anderson, a former jet. He had to pick up a nine for the rookie quarterback and he's uh, flag thrown on the far side. Holding. Defense number 33. 
This five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. <laughs> it's an automatic first down. Jeff fans were excited about that call as it's put on Jawan Williams, the defensive back. Well, it's, not only is it first, that's a huge first down when you consider the penalty that had taken place. So they had 20 yards to go after the run. It was still going to be quite a down and distance to go. Juwan Williams, top of the screen. You'll see the left side there right on Corey Davis. Gets that left arm hooked around the shoulder. It's an easy call for the officials. Carter in the backfield. First and ten. First series of the second half. But 18. Carter. Two tight ends right there. Look at the great submarine move there by Jawan Bentley. Rockets in, throws him for a loss of three. Back to the 39. Excellent job by Bentley with his recognition. He's going to be right in the middle of the defense, and everybody up front is occupied man on man. So he gets a free run right into the backfield. Excellent job of wrapping up and bringing him down for a loss. Came into this game talking about the new tackles. The right tackle moved to the left side. The veteran. Morgan Moses as they take a look at uh, Jones warming up on the sideline there in anticipation of an upcoming series second down and 13 for Wilson Moore brought down by Jalen Mills nice catch close to the first into Patriot territory pickup of 12 on second and 13 Moore struggled last week with one catch but today another flag has been thrown but today has had some nice receptions personal foul Chop block, offense numbers 32 and number 60. Oh, it's a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay, second down. On the back, Carter, and on the starting center, Connor McGovern. It's 32. He's going to come up and block, and he's working it with the center, McGovern. Now watch the blitz here at linebacker. It's going to be high tower that they get the high low on. Watch. One goes the chop. One goes high. Although that doesn't look like much because he doesn't go to the ground high tower doesn't go to the right. ground but the fact that one person is blocking up high and engaged in that block and another person goes low anytime you get that happen the flag's going to come out it's it's a protection thing for the defender into the nickel second and 28 they need the 48 of the patriots good time and downfield and intercepted picked off by devin mccourty Fourth interception thrown by the rookie quarterback. He got a block by Duggar, and he takes it inside the Jet 35. 23-yard return. I, I can't even explain who he was throwing this to. Uh, the pressure was coming after him, so he was drifting back. There were two receivers in the area, but four defenders in the area. Moore is only five foot ten, so it's not like he's going to win a, a, a jump ball battle. I don't know if he thought. Did you see Kevin where Corey Davis was to the inside? I don't know if he thought Corey Davis was going to continue to the outside. But uh, that's a, that's a ball that, that Zach Wilson can't throw. And the first time today that we've heard some boos from the Saints. Corey Davis has not caught a pass all day. Had a bunch last week, just shy of 100 yards in Carolina. So here comes Matt Jones with a laser, 26-yard line, grabbed right there by Nelson Aguilar, the former Raider and Eagle receiver with a quick pickup of nine. And that was the 29th career interception by the four-time Pro Bowler Devin McCourty, who played at Rutgers, is from the state of New Jersey and has been a captain for Bill Belichick for 10 years. I always enjoy getting a chance to talk to him. We, you know, yes. we, had, we had him last week, so that we had a chance to talk to him a week ago when it was McCourty against McCourty. But you have a lot of respect for his career. Oh, great block right there, and look at the broken tackles. Damian Harris bulldozing his way. Myers digging, turning. That is a touchdown. You might never see this season a better hard-earned run for six by a running back in the NFL. 26-yard touchdown run, fighting every inch of the way. Damian Harris, that was beautiful. Wow. Just a run to the left and a missed tackle in the backfield. Excellent job of body on body. Another missed tackle upfield. And then this is just effort. This is Damian Harris. It's four defenders. And seven missed tackles, unofficially. Seven missed jet tackles 
for a guy that last week you may recall fumbled late in the game with under four minutes left. But that time rumbling for 26. That's all effort right there. Kevin. That was spectacular and the extra point is no good by Nick Folk. Damian Harris, all-time leading rusher at Alabama in yards per rush attempt. And 16 Patriot points off of four Jet turnovers. Four interceptions by the Jet quarterback, and that was capped off with a 26-yard touchdown run by Harris of New England. That was about as good as it gets. He had 100 yards last week on the ground. Had a career-high 23 carries, Trent. In that game last week, he's got eight for 50 yards. This subsequent kickoff and Barrios from the five. As he was uh, rustled down by Jonathan Jones on a 21-yard return with a flag back at the 16-yard line. Well, he was looking for a little redemption after the fumble last During week. Return, personal foul, illegal block below the waist, receiving team number 32. The penalty is half the distance to the goal. It's a first down. He felt horrible all week long, carried a ball around with him, and here is this run seeking a little bit of redemption. Well, and Kevin, you mentioned the fact the number of missed tackles and just the effort up the field. What's the effort of all the other players trying to push him in the pile? And then you're going to see a quarterback number 10 get his head in there. <laughs> How, about that? How about back to quarterback? Been... Now, I was foolish enough to get into a couple piles, so I can't say anything. But I should tell Mac, be careful. Be careful getting into those piles because guys want to take a shot when they can. Got the handoff here to Tevin Coleman. Takes a bunch to bring him down. Gain of four in the play. Downstairs we go to Mel. Well, Kevin, one of the first drills at Patriots practice this week was on ball security. And Damian Harris has picked up an exercise of his own. He constantly carries a football around with him no matter where he's at in the facility. He said it's something he started doing a few years ago that shows his dedication and love of the game. It's gotten to the point where if he doesn't have it in his hands, his teammates ask him where, where it is. He says they're constantly trying to strip it from him at the facility. And so far, working well for him today. Well, remember, we didn't play much as... Rookie year because of wrist and hand injuries and played 12 games last season, 100 yards in the opener last week. Second down, six, and again, this is Coleman. Hit high and brought down. They have got the momentum. They lose two, and Kyle Duggar authors that tackle at the 12. Well, and the thing I love about the story is when talking to him, we said, is it a ball security thing? And he says, well, that's part of it, because everybody tries to rip the ball out when I can. But he said, it's a reminder to me every day how fortunate I am, how blessed I am to be playing football as a living. And, and he said, it's just a reminder to me. I carried it around because I looked down at it, and I said, you know, can you believe this is what you're doing? You're playing football as a job. And so uh, I thought that was a, a pretty good reflective moment by him to uh, to why he carries that around as much as he does. Third and eight, six in the Patriots secondary, blocked there by the running back Johnson. Here comes Wilson on the move, chasing him with the angle as Uche, and out of bounds he goes. He gets to the 22-yard line. He picks up 10 on the ground. On a third and eight, we'll move the chains with a first down for the Jets. Well, and Morgan Moses, the right tackle, comes up limping after this play. You see him go down as Zach Wilson runs past him. Now, that footwork is what gets him the first down, but they're already down Makai Becton, and they've, they've got a, some movement going on with the offensive tackles anyway. I have to keep an eye on that. First and ten. Nice catch here, Elijah Moore. Continues to build in this very good afternoon for the rookie out of Mississippi. That's a gain of eight. Acrobatic catch, 30-yard line. Moore snares that out of the air. He's got three catches now and about 46 yards. And, Kevin, they're going to a little up-tempo, trying to get some rhythm going, not only for the offense, but for Zach Wilson as well. You like that, I guess. I do. Yeah. I do. Ty Johnson. He makes his way free and kick it into the secondary. With a nice run, missed tackles there. Devin McCourty will bring him down. 17-yard run out to the 47 of the Jets. Well, excellent run by Ty Johnson, and he puts a 
He puts a shoulder into JC, into JC Jackson. Watch here as 27, Jackson comes up to try and make the tackle. And Johnson just levels him, picking up the first down. Ty Johnson was claimed during last season by injury. Detroit. Well, and that's it. They're, they're taking a lot. They, they stopped it for injury. J.C. Jackson's going to get a quick evaluation on the sideline to make sure he's okay. And look at that hat, too. Jalen Mills ran quickly back into the game. I know it appears that it's a helmet situation that he came out, but the official said it was an injury situation, and the doctor came up and asked him real quick as he got to the sideline. Appears everything's okay. Three different defensive backs for the Patriots have picked off four Zach Wilson passes today. And again, Belichick going up against a rookie quarterback, which we have discussed. It's is always an interesting matchup. Well, and he, he's had a lot of success about rookie quarterbacks. But he wanted to, he, he said us, when I asked him about that, he said, listen, I don't care what the age of the quarterback is. You put the tape on and you evaluate it. There's some rookie quarterbacks or young quarterbacks that are further along than other guys. And there's some older quarterbacks that you can take advantage of. So you study the tape and you put together a game plan no matter what the range is. Ty Johnson, first and ten. Following the blocking, Croft among them, gain of three just into Patriot territory. And that is the record. Rookies against Belichick defenses while in New England. You can see the numbers, and this is coming into the game. So now all of a sudden you add the, the four interceptions that Zach Wilson has. So it's 21 touchdowns to 41 interceptions. Which is a staggering number, but it was, he, he was pretty adamant upon. He said, "Listen, I, there, there's some guys coming to the league ready to go." Moses, good block. Second down, seven. Going deep for Davis. Coverage on the play is right there from the Pats and who else? J.C. Jackson with a couple picks today. There's a flag. Yeah, I think they're going to get a hold on that because it happened early on. It was a double move by Corey Davis, and when he tried coming out of it, J.C. Jackson wrapped him up. Pass interference. Defense number 27. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic. First down. Well, and the reason for that is the ball must have been in the air when it happened. Now, watch, he gives a little stutter. Then right there, he's grabbed. A lot of times, that's called a hold instead of defensive pass interference. But the ball must have already been in the air. That's the judgment of the official. If the ball's in the air, then it's automatically DPI. Davis has not caught a pass today. Last week in Carolina, five for 97 and two touchdowns. Remember, it was the second half for Wilson Star. Let's see if he can put that same kind of scenario in play here with a handoff to Coleman on that first and 10. Hightower makes the stop. He didn't like the lack of impact he made last week, trying to improve this week after opting out last year. It is second and 10. Well, Hightower is lined up on the end of the line of scrimmage, and no one touches him. They're running in the direction of Hightower, and there's nobody at the point of attack. He just comes off the edge, and it's one-on-one -on -one and able to make a, the tackle for no gain. Second and ten. Fake to Tevin Coleman. Being chased in the play by Judon. And that is caught by the twirling tight end, Ryan Griffin. He picks up four, walking the tightrope on the far side of the field. He gets as far as the 26 of the pass. Well, Judon's going to be the backside contain on this bootleg. You'll see him lined up to the outside. He's going to stay home and get upfield. Cause the pressure for Zach Wilson here. Watch as he stays home. He keeps an eye on the ball, maintains good control. Timeout, New England. Patriots are going to take a breather. A third and five is coming up. Judon was a two straight Pro Bowl elected player for Baltimore. Now playing for Belichick in New England. Timeout. 20, the offensive line of the Jets struggled last week in Carolina. Gave up six sacks. No sacks by New England today on Zach Wilson. And not only that, they they have over 100 and. They've, they have 117 yards rushing, so they've been doing an effective job. Just too many turnovers right now. Now the pocket crumbles, and down he goes. Carl Davis. It's the first 
I hope we didn't jinx it. First sack by New England. They lose nine. And it goes back to the 35 of the Patriots. Carl Davis, a veteran of seven years, comes in and wraps up the rookie quarterback for the Jets. Well, and this is really going to be a, a coverage sack. They, they rush four. Really, it's three with a delayed pressure to the outside. They just wanted to drop into windows and play little catch and mouse. They had a man with a zone principle behind it with a robber in the middle of the field. So trying to cause some confusion for Zach Wilson and because of that extended time in the pocket. 50, 53 yard field goal is no good by Matt Amendola who misses from 53 and the Patriots do their job on defense. Carl Davis. Four turnovers by rookie quarterback Zach Wilson of the Jets. A missed field goal moments ago by New York. Four drives into oh, Patriot no. territory. Two turnovers, a field goal and a missed field goal. First and ten. Downfield, Hunter Henry. And grab from behind in the secondary by Bryce Hall. Well, here was one of the two high-priced, big-signing free agents they brought in. Henry comes from the Chargers and a big play there at 32. Watch the play fake here. Hunter Henry is going to just release straight up the field, and it's the play fake to Taylor that allows it to get open. Easy pitch and catch for Mac Jones. Came from the Chargers, like I said. Where's that number 85? And tribute to Antonio Gates, who was a mentor in that camp. Handoff, J.J. Taylor on first and ten. He's into the secondary with a bolt and picks up nine on the play. And Colbert will make the stop. Adrian Colbert who was elevated yesterday. Holding offense number 76. It's a ten yard penalty. Replay first down. That's the left tackle Isaiah Wynn. Matt Jones. Trent is completing 77 percent of his passes through a little less than two games. Last week, 29 to 39, and today, 19 to 23. Kevin, you know what his completion percentage was at the University of Alabama his last I, year? I do. <laughs> Go ahead and 77%. Say yes. <laughs> I, it's like, I knew you were doing it. I was like, wait a second. He's doing exactly That's the amazing. same thing at this level. And uh, this great, is great distri distribution of the football. Spot foul, first and 18. Win the block here. Guns one outside. John U. Smith, the former Tennessee Titan, picks up three. Rowled by a couple, including C.J. Mosley, doing a three, puts them at the 30. Well, and the other thing is just the way he spreads the ball around. You know, it, it's uh, a week ago he had six receivers that had multiple receptions. He had four receivers that had five or more receptions. And so far today, you know, he's got six different receivers that are catching. Five guys have had multiple catches. So continuing to spread the ball around, keep everybody involved. Second down, 15 right. Uh, reverse board blocked by the quarterback. There goes the new receiver, breaking tackles and takes it to the 15. Blocks all over the joint, and there was a run of 15 yards. Well executed play. Well, and Mac Jones on Shaq Lawson, it, I, I guess you call that a block. You just get on the ground and roll, but it gets him down. It gets him down and gives Bourne the outside. Smart play by Mac Jones not to put his health in jeopardy by getting low and rolling. 15 yard end around game by Bourne. Former 49er. 180. First and 10. JJ. He's taken down. Sheldon Rankins jumping out of the X Saint. Gain of one. Put him at the 13 yard line. You know, there's been some talk in the Boston media about should McDaniels maybe. Bring a little bit more aggression to the offensive play call and maybe call some things. And now we've seen some gadget plays right. today. Nothing well, deep, deep downfield except just a couple times. Well, there have been several play calls off of play action that were trying to get the ball down the field, trying to get over the top. It's just, it hasn't been there. So Mac Jones hasn't forced it. He's hit the check down underneath and he passed one up earlier, but for the most part, second good defensive down, play. Second down and nine. Nice play there by Carter. Or rather by May, excuse me, Marcus May jumping on the back of the tight end, Hunter Henry. 
But you're right, you know, that's that's a good point. They have the kind of presence of mind that can, can I be lured to thinking that deep and right. taking something safe and knowing you're going to get some yards. Well, and, and some of it is understanding the whole game plan. And, and they know they have a good defense. They know they're generally they play smart in terms of penalties and turnovers and those kinds of things. So they're not looking for a big dynamic. Now, at points in time, you're going to need to make some big plays. But I think right now he's playing the way they want him to play. Third and nine, wide out of the backfield with a beat on him and taking him down. Again, Marcus May read it well. No gain on the play. Terrific player in his fourth year out of Florida for the Jets D. He's down at the 14. Well, Kevin, that, that's big because with a made field goal here, it all of a sudden makes it a three possession game instead of a two possession game. So no reason to do anything risky. Hit the flat if you make a missed tackle and get up there, but but you're already in field goal range. So I understand why the nature of the play call. There comes Nick Falk trying a 32 yard field goal to extend the New England lead. Perfect. He missed an extra point earlier, but he knocks that through. 22-3, the Pats late third on CBS. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. And by Sonic. This is how we Sonic. On Monday, the Patriots hosted a back-to-school event at Martin Luther King Jr. High School in uh, Dorchester, Massachusetts. Patriot cheerleaders and the one and only Pat Patriot were there to give out supplies, snacks, and masks, all orchestrated by owner Robert Kraft. Working in the community, so many of our football fans in this country are people affected by floods and pandemic and all kinds of things, and it's great to see the NFL teams reaching out from the three. Here comes Berrios, finding a gap, and then killed. Boy, he was hit hard on the play. 22-yard uh, return. There's a look at Nick Folk, and Folk has now hit 32 consecutive field goals dating back to early last season. That is a new Patriot record, and he is only a couple of... More field goals away from an NFL record. So that's going to be something to keep a lookout for. Folk, who was not a part of camp because of injury full-time. They had a kid named Quinn Nordine from Michigan, but he's just been put on IR. Well, and the even more impressive thing about it is kicking in New England all last season. So you're dealing with the elements as well. First and ten. Here comes Corey Davis, who just caught the pass. And it's a gain of three. That is his first reception of the day. It's a gain of three right there for Davis. Well, and coming into this game, after having two touchdowns a week ago and averaging nearly 20 yards per reception against Carolina, they came in trying to force him the ball. A couple of interceptions was Zach Wilson trying to get him the ball. One went through his hands on the bootleg pass. It would have been a difficult catch, but it did go through his hands. And as you said, Kevin, that was his first catch of the day. Second down and seven. Davis just a couple yards shy of a thousand last year with the Titans. He's the number five overall pick. Carter in the backfield. Second and seven. Ben Roten the block. And underneath they go for the aforementioned Carter. And slowed down by Bentley. Slips the grass, but Mills. And then was belted out of bounds across the way. Took all kinds of guys to bring it. He is a tough guy to. He's as quick as a hiccup, isn't he? My goodness. 17 yard gain. And they'll put him just past the 45 of the. Jets flag been thrown on the far sideline. Well, it's a late flag too, and it's it right, was. right near where the contact was made. So So here's the miss for Bentley. My apologies. There is no foul on the play. The result of the play is a first down. But when you have officials now <laughs> apologizing to a crowd, that's that's a classic. That, I tell you what, that's Sean Hockley <laughs> has been all over it today. He, you know, he was raised earlier in the dad, he, Yes, he? he yes he was. And his uh, his dad had. I was on the field many times with his I dad. Know you it was, were. Yes, I know it was. You were. It was. Uh, his dad did a good an job. Excellent with official, in, incredible official. And Sean's picking up right where his dad left off. But the way he explained things in the first half, and then 
at the end of it, he says, thank you. And then now he's apologizing. <laughs> the Hackley legend <laughs> is alive. Look at the guns. Just like that. Go to the fourth. At Live Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. I drove in about 9.15 this morning. There were fans, as far as the eye could see, tailgating. First time in 600 days we've had fans watching the Jets at home. Home opener with the new head coach and a new quarterback. We start the fourth. They're the first and ten. Here comes Bentley up the middle, and there goes the pass, and it's incomplete. Cole, there's Duggar over there covering and a flag thrown on the play. They were going for Ryan Griffin. Pass interference. Offense, number 86. It's a 10-yard penalty. Replay, first down. We talked about the four interceptions by the secondary of the Patriots, and Trent, this is a secondary without maybe the best player on defense for the team, Stephon Gilmore, who's out for the first six weeks of the season with an injury. Well, and that's a great point, Kevin. Gilmore won Defensive Player of the Year two years ago, and J.C. Jackson has really thrived in the spotlight. Bringing over Jalen Mills was a, was a big get for them in, in terms of free agency and moving, uh, you know, just moving the defensive secondary around. And it, just think how good they're going to be in a month and a half from now when, uh, when Gilmore gets back. First and 20, Johnson in the backfield. Late release outside Berrios brought down after a gain of four. He was an original sixth round pick by the Patriots in 2018. Braxton Berrios was. He was an IR as a rookie. Waved in 19. Reeled in by the Jets and it's been a nice find off the street for them. Second down and 16. Red, red. Get as he throws. Complete and out of bounds, and the pressure was applied by Christian Barmore. Big rookie second round pick, Alabama flag. He went low on him. But I'm not sure that's what the flag was about. It's outside. The flag is thrown about the 38 yard line. First, before the pass was thrown, holding defense number nine. It's a five yard penalty and an automatic first down. On Matt Judon. Last week, the safeties were the top tacklers for this Patriot defense, Trent, but that's not the case today. They're getting the front seven far more involved this afternoon in the tackling. Well, and, and think about how many times we, you know, we've mentioned the names, the, the, the way that, that Hightower has been involved. He was not happy with the way that he played a week ago. Juwan Bentley's been very involved. Matt Judon's been very involved. You're, you're right, that, that front four guy, he's been getting in the backfield. Carter in the backfield. Good block by the tight end, Croft. Over the head of the smallish Carter. Incomplete. Here comes some more booze. Carter is only 5'8. And that passes for a guy 6'3. Wilson had hit his last five and saw that incompletion. Second and ten. Now watch his movement in the pocket. He does a good job of keeping his shoulders square and sliding around and buying some time and then doesn't make an accurate throw. Leading to those boos that you heard. Jets have used two top three picks in the past four years for quarterbacks. Sam Darnold was the other one, second and ten. Good block by Carter there. This goes outside to Davis, second catch. Ball loose on the turf and picked up on the play by Bentley. Big time hit, and it may have been by Jonathan Jones, who jarred that ball free. And Bentley scoops it in. Actually, Kevin, I think it was Barmore who's pursuing down the line of scrimmage. The big defensive lineman in pursuit. The runner was down at the 50-yard line. No turnover. Watch Barmore 90 as he comes flying in here. Let's see if he's the one to knock it loose. Nope, you're right, Kevin. <laughs> Barmore drags him down from he behind. Does, he does. And the runner, what you can see, Davis's knee was down before that ball came out. I, why, why do I doubt you? Why, <laughs> well, why, why, why believe I, me, <laughs> it, there are a litany of reasons why. <laughs> but there's Davis, who today, this is so famous too for Belichick, and it's common when you study defenses and when he looks at the opposing offense and he changes the game plan week to week, he always goes. 
at your most potent thing. And last week it was Davis, and sure enough, they've been on Davis hard today. He, he's been known for that for years. What's the one thing that's going to hurt us the most? Let's take that away and see if the other team can make adjustments. Dude. Third and five. Rocking is there, the sidearm delivery, and it's caught by Moore. Russell down by J.C. Jackson with a gain of three down to the 47. I would imagine they're going to go for it. Oh, yeah, you'd have, to, you'd have to go for it right here. I know there's still 13 minutes left, but it's a three-possession game. You've got your three timeouts. You've got the two-minute warning. You're across midfield. You have to go for it, and that's what they're doing. Try and get a hard count. See if you can't get a free one. If you can't get the hard count, then, then just run your play. They were hoping to have Jamison Crowder off the COVID list last week, but he has a groin injury and active today. Fourth and two. Mel told us about that at the start of the game. Yes. Those are away beautiful. What great defense on that one. Jones again for Berrios on the pass and on downs. It goes to New England. Patriots have gotten two rushing touchdowns, four interceptions, a complete effort this afternoon in the Meadowlands. The Heisman finalist from a season ago, Mac Jones, the first round pick out of Alabama. His accuracy, those numbers speak for themselves. He's not turned it over and he is, <laughs> he is over 77%. Amazing. On downs, Patriots take over. Set up the screen caught here by the tight end, Smith, who was grabbed by C.J. Mosley. Russell down, gain of the yard, 49-yard line. Inside the NFL is now streaming. The hardest-hitting team of analysts and football provide expert insight and exclusive commentary you won't find anywhere else. Stream new episodes Tuesday at 9.30 Eastern exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Inside the NFL co-host Julian Edelman, a former Patriot and well-represented with his jersey here today, in the Meadowlands, showed off a spot-on Bill Belichick impression last week that was fun to watch. Second and nine, Harris wrapped up, whacked on the play. Shaq Lawson gets him a no game on the play. Well, there's no give up in this Jets defense. Nope. And th that first play, C.J. Mosley, if he doesn't bust through those two blockers and make the tackle of, of Jonu Smith on the screen play, Jonu Smith may still be running. There was only two other guys on this side of the field. Everybody had gone with the pump fake to the right. And then that time you said Shaq Lawson getting through and making the tackle, setting up this third and long. Matt Jones, who is a wing T high school quarterback from Jacksonville, but only a three-star kid, came in the Tunga Vailoa recruiting class. Third and nine, blocked by Haran. Look at the patience. There's the incompletion, and he was downfield looking for Henry. Fourth and nine, here comes the Patriot punting unit. He's had five incompletions on the day, and he's so mad at himself, he like pounded himself on the thigh that, that he missed this throw. Hunter Henry, watch this, watch this, he signals with his hands, tells him to come back. He has him, but when he falls away, the ball yanks him to the ground and ends up short. Short of the receiver and short of the sticks. He had a 74% completion percentage last week. The third highest completion percentage by a rookie quarterback in week one since 1970. And Miami blitzed him 48% of the time. They're the, one of the most heavy blitz. That's a timeout by the Jets. One of the most heavy blitz defenses in football. And they're continuing what they did last year. Robert Sala was making his head coaching debut this afternoon at home in front of his Jets fans. He said he was so lucky to get insight into being a head coach and he was the defensive coordinator from Kyle Shanahan and from Mike Shanahan, his father, while in San Francisco and those lessons he is employing here with the Jets. Two games into his head coaching career. Pun here by Jake Bailey. And Berrios at the 17, a hang of 4 7 6 on a 35 yard punt. Saturday, a college football doubleheader on CBS begins at noon Eastern with a Mountain West matchup between Boise State and Utah State. Then at 3 30, the SEC on CBS features seventh ranked Texas AM clashing with number 16 Arkansas. A full afternoon of college football next Saturday, right here on CBS.
Wilson at his 17 with the first and 10. Jets have drafted five quarterbacks in the first two rounds of the last 12 drafts. He's one of them. A handoff here to Carter. Nice little lead block by the center McGovern and out of bounds he goes. Minimal gain on the play. He's going to get a little bit. Those, those five quarterbacks, Mark Sanchez, Christian Hackenberg, Geno Smith, Sam Darnold, and Zach this past spring. Well, and Robert Sala understands what he has on this team and, and that it is a young team. They started seven rookies a week ago, and they're the youngest team in the NFL. We can say their average age is just 25 years of age. The offensive line's young. Got a number of young receivers, and they know this is going to be a work in progress. They just need to try and build on it week in and week out. Half yard game, call to the block, second down, long nine. And over the head of Darius, incomplete. They're down in 10. A lot of young players last week, all those rookies, six of them started. And the last time the NFL had six rookies start on opening day was 2010. Look at that. All those draft picks by a wide margin over the Pittsburgh Steelers who are losing. Did I hear that correctly in Vegas? Are they playing in Vegas? They play in Pittsburgh. They're playing in Pittsburgh. Excuse me. The Raiders, who played on Monday with that thriller against Baltimore, which had just more twists and turns than you could count. Third and ten here. Fant the block at the left tackle. Deep for Berrios, and hold it in was the inbounds. Is he on the chalk? Let's see. They're saying it's a catch. They are indeed. He makes the grab on third and ten for 26. And he's at the 43 of the Jets. Well, and right now they're... This rainbow of a throw lands right in the nice back. You catch, see both yep. feet in. He secures the ball when he goes to the ground. Let's see if it moves at all. They got the ball snapped. First and ten here. And Ty Johnson tries to slither free. Brought down by a handful, including Duggar. Gain of four. He's up to the 48. If I'm the Jets, I think I'm going a little bit more up tempo here. Johnson going off the field. It looked like he maybe got rolled on the back of his legs. Not that you have to be in two minutes, but you have to have, to have some tempo here, knowing that there's under 10 minutes to go and still need three scores. Second down, six. Michael Carter, the run. In the Patriot territory to about the 48. Duggar again and a couple others in there making the stop. Four yard pickup. Each team with two timeouts. Wilson with four interceptions thrown today. Two interceptions by Jackson. Bill Belichick, 47 years, an NFL coach. No other coach has ever coached that long in pro football. Dick LeBeau is 45 years. Belichick starting his 47th, third and two. Carter will dance. We'll get a great block on the play from Davis and take it for a first down. Brought down by Jonathan Jones. Move the chains to the 34. 14-yard pickup to James in New York. Old-style Steelers and Raiders. Raiders, Steelers here. Ben Roethlisberger in front of Mike. Come back. Najee Harris takes the swing pass in the flat. He'll go 25 yards. They cut the lead. Vegas still leads 16 to 14. Kevin, you heard it in Bill's voice. Back to Kevin Harlan. I heard it, James, and I expected nothing less. Thank you. First and 10. And they get the short pass off here and down to the 28-yard line. With the grab is the tight end, Ryan Griffin, who picks up five. There's another Alabama player, that running back for Pittsburgh, who they're going to lean on heavily this year, aren't they, Trent? Well, and, and, and Coach Cower had, had a little... <laughs> when he was giving the highlight of the Steelers, it just sounds a little it bit does, different, yes. right? Red, red, red. Second to five. Carter back there. And the block of the play from Morgan Moses, and getting a block on the play from Keelan Cole. Those tight ends, wide receivers, leading the way. First down run. Takes it down to the 18, picks up 11. Well, and the Jets are, after picking up that big fourth down on the rainbow throw, rainbow corner route, Ruberio's got his feet inbounds. Now they've been able to get some steady first downs and get something going. Carter's got 59 yards on the ground. Ninth play of this drive. First and 10. Here they come off the edge. 
The blitz was on by Williams. Outside it goes. Elijah Moore grabs it. Juan Williams will be coming off the right side here. Watch this pressure that's going to be coming after Zach Wilson. And he backpedals enough. It's, it's actually a good thing that this ball is incomplete right. because it would have been a loss of about seven yards. Well, he came off that edge, rocketing. Second and ten on the incompletion. 18 yard line. And they're off here to Ty Johnson. Gain of a couple on the play. Talking before about Aaron Rodgers talking to Zach Wilson. Wilson has been very clear about how he has imitated and studied so much tape of Rodgers. And Rodgers' message is that just keep it simple. He said, uh, work on your feet, work on your arm, and keep things simple. Well, and that's something Zach talked to us about also because we asked him about the different arm angles and footwork. He said, listen, that's stuff I work on in the offseason. That's part of my warm up routine before practice every day is throwing from different arm, arm angles and different footwork. So when you see it in a game, it's something that he is, uh, has actually put some time into. Third and eight, Carter was back there, blocking holds up Ben Roten, but now they're getting chased by Judon. Matthew Judon from behind brings it down, flag is thrown. Back at the 24. Well, that's usually holding territory, Kevin, and I would think they'd decline it, but make it a fourth and nine. We're asking. Holding. Offense number 76. This penalty's declined. It's fourth down. George Fant. Well, they're going to get the field goal here or attempt the field goal because they're going to need three scores anyway. You need two touchdowns, two two-point conversions, and the field goal. So you have to get three scores one way or another. Rams don't like it, though. I take the points. Well, I know the fans don't like it, but you just it's, it's math, right? I mean, what are the percentages you're going to make a fourth and nine and then end up getting in the end zone and get the two-point conversion? Go ahead and take the points. Time is the biggest factor. Get your points now and try and get the football back. 35-yarder by Matt Amendola is good. He had missed a 53-yarder earlier on. 35-yarder is true. It's 22-6 New England. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by GEICO. You could save even more by bundling home and car insurance. Verizon. 5G built right. And by the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Beautiful day for the home opener here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Did you do an onside kick here? Would just kick away. I think you got to try the onside kick. You need to get the ball back. They've got Devin McCourty back there. Retrieving it at the three for the pass. Hitting the deck at the 22. 19-yard return. Bill Belichick in his 22nd year with New England. And compared to some other coaches, 47 years overall in the NFL. Longest ever McDermott in this division is 47 with the Bills. And Robert Sauer, 42. Brian Flores, who they went head-to-head -head last week. A former assistant with New England. was 40. His, his career is is impressive. Not, not only, obviously, he's a Hall of Fame coach as a head coach, but then, you know, as a defensive coordinator, won two Super Bowls. Harris, first and ten handoff. And around his ankles, he found C.J. Mosley. Minimal gain. Let's go to the coach and James in New York. Yep, coaches watch the Raiders expand their lead. How about Derek Carr today? 27, 36, 357 yards and two touchdowns. This one, 61 yards to Henry Ruggs. Puts the Raiders up 23 to 14 over the Pittsburgh Steelers in the fourth quarter. That is an old school style Raiders play. Back to Kevin Harlan. High pick out of Alabama. Last year really didn't make the dent. They thought he would with his blinding speed, but what a play right there. And, not, and not nearly as much enthusiasm in that. In that. <laughs> Second down nine and a pass in back of Jacoby Myers. He led the Patriots in receiving. A year ago. 
Well, and that stops the clock, so the Jets can hang on yes. to those two yes. timeouts. This is a big third down. Third and nine. I wouldn't be surprised if New England doesn't go with a draw or screen here to force the Jets to, to use up at least one of their timeouts in this drive. White in the backfield. Offers a block, Haran the block at the right tackle, and it's incomplete 30-yard line as they were trying to zero in on Bourne. New Patriot incomplete, fourth down, nine to go. Punting unit is out there for New England. Now watch Kendrick Bourne, he extends the arm. I thought maybe he was going to get an OPI as he pushed off with that left arm and then not able to bring the ball in. So no flag on it for, for offensive pass interference and then not able to haul it in for the first down. So the Jets are going to get the ball back here with 518, two right. timeouts, a two-minute warning coming up. It's long way to go, but still got a chance. Second consecutive three and out for New England. Berrios is back at the 29 for the Jets. Punning is Jake Bailey. Boy, sends up a beauty. What a punt. Woo! Back to about the 18-yard line. Fair caught by Berrios. That was a 59-yarder. Over five seconds on the hand. Well, these teams have been going at it since 1960. Ten consecutive wins right now, Trent for the New England Patriots over the Jets. It's just, it's been complete domination. And if you look at those points per game, it, it, they haven't even been close games. Uh, you know, the yards per game is about 100 yards difference, 20 point difference in terms of points, but much different here today. When you look at the fact New England doesn't even have 250 yards of offense, the difference of the game is 16 points. There have been four turnovers by the Jets. New England has 16 points off of those four turnovers. So that's the difference right now. Zach Wilson, first and ten. Crumbling pocket and an incomplete pass to Berrios. With the coverage on the play by Jonathan Jones. It'll be second down and ten. Reminder to stay tuned for the NFL Today update, time permitting. Phil, Nate, Boomer, and Coach Cower will be joined by James Brown. Latest scores, news, and highlights in this busy second weekend of the NFL. Second down and 10. And Kevin, that first down, McCourty and Phillips were both about 25 yards deep after the ball was snapped. They're just going to try and keep everything in front of them. Don't give up a big play. Use the clock. Let it wind down. Six in the second area for New England. Second down and 10. Across the middle it goes, lassoed by Croft. He was brought down on the play by Jones. Croft, who's had a history of injuries, including last year with the Bills, is now a Jet and happy for a fresh start, picks up eight. He's out past the 25. And with the completion, they'll, they'll stick in their up-tempo. 32. Here Tucker with a block, and there's a long pass, and a nice knock away on the play by Jawan Williams. Played that well. There were... Zeroing in on Elijah Moore. Fourth and two. Watch Williams as the ball's in the air. We catch it a little bit late there. Watch Williams. He was running with Moore. When Moore looked back for the ball, that's when Williams turned his head around. Watch that the last second. All of a sudden, Moore makes an adjustment because he sees the ball. That's an indicator to Williams to get his head around. He's able to get that right hand up and knock it away. Fourth and two. with some moves, shoved down the play, and incomplete. Pressured on the play by Josh Uche, who had a sack last week against Miami. He was pressuring the rookie quarterback, so on downs it goes to New England. Well, and there's not, there's not a lot that he could do there. It's fourth down. You can't go down with the ball, and he had several receivers to the right side of the field. Unfortunately, he gets flushed to the left side, so there's only two guys over there. Berrios is on the sideline being covered, and the other one was down the field 40 or 50 yards. So not much he could do in that situation as you see his numbers. Not a very good day at all for Zach Wilson. First down and 10 with a couple tight ends. Quarterback Matt Jones. And the draw play. Harris, who was grabbed by Javelin Guidry. And a gain of five to the 20 coming up. Cowboys and Chargers. 
Game two of our NFL on CBS doubleheader. A lot of offense right there. Dak Prescott leading Dallas. And Justin Herbert, the quarterback for the Chargers. That should be a beauty. Coming up next right here on CBS, some of you will see Titans and Seahawks. Second down and five. Jones to Harris. And nice penetration that time by Bryce Hall. Throwing up for a two-yard loss. Back to the 22. So they come into this game, this defense. They lost, as we mentioned at the top, LaMarcus Joyner last week in Carolina. Torn triceps. Blake Cashman, a linebacker, usually sees a lot of snaps. Hamstring. Jamie and Sherwood, a good-looking rookie, out, sprained ankle. And to begin the season in training camp, a devastating loss of Carl Lawson, who had been tremendous in camp, was setting the tone. They were so excited, and he blew an Achilles in those joint practices with Green Bay. Third and seven. Wow, and they get it off. It's Harris, stiff-arming his way and holding on for dear life. Marcus Mann rides him down. Flag thrown, 10-yard line, gain of 12. Good enough for a first down. Let's see what the flag is all about. We have some shoving after the play. Looks like John U. Smith, the tight end, had to be separated. And Fodakasi did not like. Well, Fodakasi was the one that put the pressure. He nearly, I'm surprised they got the handoff. Looked like a busted I, I thought, play. I thought Fodakasi was going to knock the ball Personal loose. Foul. Horse collar tackle, defense number 20. That penalty will be added half the distance to the goal from the end of the run and an automatic first down. Watch the exchange. It actually, the ball was loose. It was floating in the air, and Harris picked it out of the air. And then you see the horse collar at the end of it. The ball was actually floating in the air because the hit. And Harris just plucks it out of the air and keeps running. Kevin, you mentioned all the injuries that the Jets had, you know, coming into this game, and even, even with the loss of Lawson. First to go with the five, and Harris. To pound that left side, hit initially by Adrian Colbert in the secondary. Gain of three. Watch it again. Watch the ball floating in the air. The hit here. <laughs> Is that a pass? <laughs> Is well, that it's, it's backwards, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be considered a pass. Uh, well, but the crazy thing is, is Harris, Harris was had his arms like a, I don't even think he knew the ball was floating because his eyes were upfield looking at the defense and it just so happened it floated right into where the handoff would be. At, le at least that's the way it appeared on that, on that replay. I didn't, it didn't look like his head was down watching the football. And down goal, Durant back in at that right tackle as they try to penetrate. Again, there's just not a whole lot there. Lose a yard. Well, Jets using up a timeout here. Yep, they are. And now they'll have one remaining. But, Kevin, I just wanted, I, I, what I got started on before was the injuries in the preseason and then, of course, coming into this game. And the fact that Jets, this is uh, this is another game. Now, both games, they've, they've held the opposing, opposing team to under 300 yards and significantly below 300 yards. Carolina only... Carolina wasn't over 300 yards, and, and now they're at 264 New England. The big difference is the turnovers that have taken place. Third down and goal with the ball at the three. Jakob Johnson is the fullback. Damian Harris, the running back. With the tight ends, blocked by Johnson, and a nice stuff right there with a good play turned in by Shaq Lawson and the Jet defense, throwing him for a five-yard loss. It'll be fourth and goal. And playing hard, even in a game, which has been lopsided. And this will take us the two-minute warning. Lawson, nice play defensively for the Jets. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Northwestern Mutual. You dream it, we'll help you plan for it. And by Consumer Cellular. Well, a story involving our own Trent Green, a proud Indiana University alum on Friday with his wife Julie by his side. Trent received Indiana's 
So our Clevenger Award given to those who have made outstanding contributions to the university, their service to its athletic program. He's one of the most decorated quarterbacks in IU history. And we could not be more thrilled. And that award and your recognition here was a field goal by Folk and up and through it goes again. He's made field goals today from 46, 49, 32, and that was 26. 33 consecutive field goals made by Nick Folk, a former Jet. And well, thank you for that. Those yeah, comments. you know that that was yeah. uh, what a, what a nice record. It Whenever was. You're it was honored it by was. some place you've been. And hopefully, it left better. It's. Always, always gratifying, isn't it? It is, you know, and and uh, it was it was a heck of an honor, and and uh, it was nice to get back. I don't get back to, to Indiana very often, and get to see some of my former teammates, and uh, so that that part of it was uh, was really nice. It, um, yeah. So thank you for that. A lot of yeah. people know that Trent had a son who was a longtime quarterback at Northwestern. He has a son right now who is a quarterback at SMU, and he's got a daughter who is a nationally ranked volleyball player. In high school, and uh, she a junior this year. She's a sophomore. Sophomore, sophomore this high year. school, yes, yes. So, and, um, uh, that, so yes, I'm a I'm a girl dad volleyball dad in the off yes, season. You are. So <laughs> when, uh, you'll see me at a volleyball court somewhere. And the crazy thing is, is how many former NFL players I run into at these tournaments because we've all got daughters that are athletes, and uh, it's a lot of fun catching up with them and and. Uh, also encouraging my, my my boys and and my daughter both in, in the sports and their endeavors and they're better people than they are athletes and they're great athletes so you and Julie have done a wonderful job with them the 26 yard field goal puts the Pats up 25 to 6 over the Jets that is a touchback out of the end zone the kickoff by Jake Bailey and here comes New York with the first and 10 at their 25 and Kevin real quick since we just said some good stuff about me, I want to I want to make a correction. I had said that the Jets defense had held Carolina to under 300 yards after after checking that over in my excitement. I was wrong with that. Carolina had nearly 400 yards of offense, but Carolina, but Jets defense playing very well today. Barrios got the feed that time from Wilson right on the screws, six yard pickup, and he's out to the 31 yard line. On situations like this. Tough, obviously, to reach now for the Jets with uh, under two to go, and the clock at 1:53. You begin, I guess, to think about next week, and let's start getting some rhythm. Yep. You've, you've talked about rhythm a lot today with this young quarterback in his offense. Well, and I think that's important to remember. You know, you've got such a young team, you've got such a young quarterback. Any live reps you can get, you have to take advantage of, and I think I think that's the way they have to look at it. Let's try and get something going. You can't. Really, there's especially during the season, there's not a lot of live reps in practice that are going on. So, you know, it, it's take advantage of these reps that you can get and try and build on it. You're at Denver next week and, and you have an opportunity to try and build on some things here at the end that you want to carry over, you know, into next week's game. Steelers and the Raiders from Pittsburgh will be next on CBS and bonus coverage coming up. I was in Las Vegas calling that game on Monday night against Baltimore in what was a thrilling finish and now they've come back in a short week out across the country and have a lead on the road third and four and down he goes hit by a couple high tower there Uche was there those two linebackers shot through the front seven of New England has done a much better job today much better game for high tower and Uche comes up with a nice play. Well, and they look like they're going to bring five, but they drop out and only rush four, causing some confusion at the offensive line and really excellent coverage. You know, when you talk about teams and their quarterback pressuring, you talk about teams and their coverage and getting turnovers, you have to all work in unison, and New England does that very well as they've had a number of interceptions and turnovers the last couple of weeks they've been able to get. Hightower gets that sack officially. Nice block by Fant giving time, and it is caught! Jeff Smith makes the grab and a beautiful pass running out of real estate and he is down field with a catch of 35 yards to the 45 yard line that was beautifully thrown working on Justin Bethel in the secondary. Well and, that, and that's why the Jets that's why Jets fans that's why everyone's excited about Zach Wilson and what what he can do. I mean that 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 throw was falling away and he had arm strength enough to get it out there. It's, it's some of the throws he's made, and I know he's made a lot of mistakes, 
But you see flashes like that, and that's why you get you get excited about his future. Moves up here. Uche's got him this time on that first and ten. Boy, he's been all over the place. Had a sack last week against Miami. Gets a sack right there, so he's got two and two games. Fourth sack of the day for New England. Carolina got to the quarterback, Wilson, six times. So this quarterback has been hit and sacked ten times, sacked, and hit countless others in two games. That's, that's going to take its toll. Well, it is, and, and, and when, you know, we had a chance to talk with Corey Davis, he was just like, I, I asked him about that. I said, did, did Zach Wilson's demeanor change with all the hits and all the, all the sacks that he took a week ago? And he said, no. He came back into the huddle always with that same energy on the sideline was good. And he said that means a lot to the rest of the team if your quarterback can respond to those negative situations. So that's part of the growing process as well and part of the leadership role that he's already taken on at an early age. Wonderful performance today by the New England defense. Four takeaways, four interceptions, four sacks. Here's a second down and 15 for Wilson. And holding up and outside he goes to Berrios, who's out of bounds on a shove by Phillips. And uh, he's down to the 44, gain of six on second and 15. Tough starts for New England. The Jets, by the way, have not won a game in the month of September since week one, 2018. And so the two teams in the city, some slow starts for sure. I'm not going to say anything about that because I got to stay in town tonight and I want to be able to not have someone like yell at me when I'm going down the street. Third nine. <laughs> so you know. Yeah, you're smart here. <laughs> I think Carter, who gets it. Plows his way into the secondary. Met by Bethel has the first down with the extra effort to the 32 on a gain of 12. Last time the Jets beat New England was six years ago. And for the Patriots, this will be their 11th consecutive win over New over the Jets for the first and 10. Patriots winning 11th consecutive game over New York. Berrios picks that up. Hit by Bentley. Gain of 12. Berrios with the first down grab to the 20 of New England. Well, and Kevin, New England, they That's got it. New Orleans coming to New England next week, and then they follow that up the next week with Tampa Bay and Tom Brady coming to town. So Matt Jones gets his first win as an NFL quarterback and does it with another accurate day through the air. 22 with 30, 186. There were touchdown runs of seven by White and 26 yards by Damian Harris, where he broke seven tackles plus. So now for Trent Green and Melanie Collins and Gene Steratore, Kevin Harlan saying so long from East Rutherford, New Jersey. The Pats go to one and one, the Jets go to 0 and two, and we go to James Brown in our CBS studios in New York.